You're watching Sun TV, broadcasting to the world from studios in Providenciales, in the beautiful by nature Texas Paper Science. Sun TV, your source for real news as it happens. In our news alert today, UK Prime Minister warns overseas territories about tax evaders. And CIBC First Caribbean Bank continues to deny reports that it is closing branches in Turks and Caicos Islands. I'm Iberli Abru. Thanks for staying connected with Sun TV. UK Prime Minister David Cameron has issued a strong letter warning to the Turks and Caicos Islands and other British overseas territories to get their financial house in order. Cameron says the territories must be more transparent about foreign businesses and individuals who want to hide money in bank accounts here to avoid paying taxes in their native countries. Premier Dr. Rufus Ewan confirmed with Sun TV that he received the letter Monday from Cameron weeks ahead of next month's G8 summit, which comprises the eight richest countries in the world. Cameron said he wants to help knock down the walls of company secrecy. In the letter to which Dr. Ewan has not replied, Cameron said, quote, I respect your right to be lower tax jurisdictions I believe passionately in lower taxes as a vital driver of growth and prosperity for all, but lower taxes are only sustainable if what is owed is actually paid, and if the rules to achieve this are set and enforced fairly to create a level playing field right across the world. He added, there is no point in dealing with tax evasion in one country if the problem is simply displayed to another. Put simply, that means we need to know who really owns and controls each and every company. Unquote. The UK Prime Minister said he wants all the overseas territories to continue working with the UK in taking the lead on two crucial issues, tax information exchange and beneficial ownership. The Prime Minister's letters, which called for more transparency about tax information and the ownership of companies, were sent to the leaders in Bermuda, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Gibraltar, Anguilla, Montserrat, the Turks and Caicos Islands, Jersey, Guernsey, and the Isle of Man. Sun TV understands that some law firms in Turks and Caicos Islands believe that this is new initiative will have an adverse effect on the country's financial services industry. This is Sun TV. Real news as it happens. We'll be right back. Life moves fast. It's extraordinary what you can see when you take a second look. Capture the extraordinary around you with Digicel's 4G mobile internet. Share the moment instantly with our super fast speeds on your mobile device. The internet as it was meant to be. Only with Digicel 4G. Digicel. Be extraordinary. CIBC First Caribbean has again denied widespread reports that it will be closing its branches in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Weeks after it was announced in Washington, D.C. that the bank is under investigation by the United States Department of Justice and the IRS, CIBC, FCIB, says it remains fully committed to TCI. In a statement to the Sun newspapers, which broke the story about the high-level investigation, the bank's CEO, Frick Parkill, said he wished to assure the public that his banks remain fully committed to TCI and has no plans to close. Sun TV understands that in recent weeks, several individuals pulled their money from the bank, but Parkill said CIBC, FCIB will continue to provide full banking services and support to existing and new clients in TCI. CIBC First Caribbean, which has assets over $11 billion, operates three branches, one agency, a wealth management center, and a three ATMs in TCI. Perkill added that the bank is investing in its branches and people and has started refurbishing branches even in a slower economy. I'm Iberli Abru and thanks for watching Sun TV News. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you real news as it happens, directly to your computer or mobile device. <laughs>